and welcome to another first ride video. This time we are looking at the Lexmoto ZSB. Uh, this bike comes into the Lexmoto range at £949.99. It's got a slightly uh, more traditional bike style than the likes of the ZSA. Somewhere between sort of a commuter and nearly almost cruiserish sort of looks to it. Now this bike features an overhead cam engine which is a lot smoother at higher revs. The bike features a disc brake on the front and a drum brake on the rear. Pretty reasonable braking performance. You're definitely not going to be at a disadvantage for having the drum on the rear necessarily. Bike positioning is very comfortable. It's got a lower seating position than the uh, ZSA. So if you are a little bit of a shorter rider, this may be a suitable option. And then again, I'm six foot and, you know, it's plenty comfortable. Five speed on this one. Nice and nimble, we're heading around about 55 to 60 mile an hour at the moment. Bikes only done a limited amount of mileage, so they generally get a little bit quicker once they're run in. The speedo is nice and clear. Uh, the main display is filled up with a rev counter. Uh, you've then got your miles per hour down in the digital area. To the right of it, you've then got the uh, gear indicator. Below that, the fuel gate and then you've got your trip as well. Around the bottom of the light you've got your indicator lights. So I'll show you obviously which way you're indicating, whether you've got your full beam on or not. So it's a nice neat little cluster, well presented. Very nice and clear to see and at night that glows blue. Suspension wise, this one uses a telescopic fork on the front and a twin shock set up on the rear. Seating position is nice and comfortable. So this could be nice and easy to ride. Nice big tank on this one, uh, 13 litres. This bike does look a lot more substantial than some of the other bikes that are a little bit narrower. It's got a nice big bike look to it. It's an entry level bike into the range, still down towards the, the base of the range. It's the, the lowest price model with the uh, what's known as the CBB or the overhead cam engine. Um, typically you tend to find those on units that are a lot more expensive and premium. The engine on this is actually um, very similar to the Venom. The only difference between this and the Venom engine is that this one also has a kickstart to it as well. Nice, really enjoyable uh, riding position, very comfortable. It's hand, it's easy to manoeuvre around, and with that low seat height, it's going to be nice and easy for someone who's relatively new to cycling to give it a go. Even chugging along this road in fifth gear. I haven't got the typical acceleration that you could get by playing with the gears, but it's quite happily to sit in that gear and just move along. So this bike is actually produced uh, by the same factory as the Venom. 
very good quality control of this factory. They're a real um, good company that's committed to delivering not just a high quantity of bikes, but quality bikes as well. Um, they've obviously created a bespoke design with the Venom and they're keen to develop more models for the future as well. So they're going to be a real good partner for us moving forward. Uh, very good examples of quality control, which is if you've seen the Venom video, you'll know about. And yeah, no, generally a very solid bike, very, very good value for the money. Um, typically, to be honest, the only reason that you would, well, you would move up from the ZSA to this model if you were looking at it, coping with a little bit um, more comfortable riding at higher speeds. And you would look to move up to the uh, ZSF if you wanted to get a, a more traditional commuter type bike with obviously that uh, YBR style motor on it. But this is a very, very capable bike. Certainly one that I'd recommend to new riders. And just anyone who, who likes that sort of slightly cruiserish style without going the full hog and having something that's uh, very much lower. So this is a good compromise between the two. Similar in style, really, I would compare it to the Vixen. Obviously with a little bit higher, more modern quality of finishing. The Vixen's been in the range for a good number of years. Um, I think originally it was brought in maybe 2007. And it's had a really good tenure in the range, but we'd like to liven up a little bit. And this seems like a good candidate to to really see what's possible. Try doing that in a car. Suspension's coping with this really well. It's not the best of roads. certainly uh, showing that it's capable. So as I mentioned the bike's available for £949.99. That's a recommended retail price. Typically dealers are going to add on the road costs on top of that which will be £72 for tax and registration. The bikes can be available through our 130 dealer strong dealer network. There have unfortunately been uh, unfortunately a little bit of over demand on this product at the moment. But next month we see a full container of the Venoms arriving with us and that should make sure that a lot of dealers will be able to show you this model in their showrooms. Um, and not selling out so quickly. The model is available in this dark blue as well as a gunmetal grey. And what I'll do, I'll stop over at the side here. Okay, so let's do a quick walk around with the bike. Obviously you've got that front disc there. Round headlight at the front with standard traditional indicators. Not a bad sized tyre on the front. Then there's that overhead cam engine with the kickstart. Drum brake on the rear. Also got a luggage rack on this one. Nice big sturdy metal luggage rack. LED rear light with traditional indicators. Then moving around you've obviously got the side stand with a cutout switch and a centre stand as well. All in all, really nice bike. You can see with the, the quality of the um, castings and stuff like that, the, there's been a lot of attention to detail. You know, it's not just using a, a simple metal plate here, they've gone for a, an actual specific cast for it. So 
all in all, really, really nice bike. Okay, so this has been our walk around of the Lexmoto ZSB. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the bike and seeing it in action. And if you had any questions at all about the bike, drop them down in the comments below. We'll do our best to get back to you. We also ask that you follow us on Facebook to keep up to date with lots of news about the Lexmoto range. And of course, subscribe to us here on YouTube to find out more about Lexmoto, our bikes, the Chinese motorcycle industry in general, and any other useful little bits and bobs. Thanks for the time and see you soon.